Hey guys, this is Chasing Speed, and today we're going to be cutting this piece of the exhaust off, and we're going to be V-banding it, and today we're finally going to mount a turbo on. What the hell? Were you doing burnout, sir? Were you doing a burnout, sir? It's my car, sir. It's winter time, I guess you don't need the, the tire part. Let's get started. Cody, show them how that's gonna look. So we're gonna go about right there. And Cody, how are we gonna mount this? We're gonna cut this off, put the V bands on the exhaust so we can mount the turbo. And we're gonna start with this side so then we can go off of that to the other side. Because basically this side's way straight and it's actually like level. And the other side, as you can see, we have a little bit of tilt going on. And regardless, we have to have our wastegate section that we're doing. So this gives us a chance to actually try and do it as easy as possible. So let's get started. Let's cut the section off. And then we'll do a V-band on there. Sweet. Make sure you're safe with that song. We cut it, Benson uh, cleaned it up with the grinder, the sandwich grinder, and now you're using a die grinder. Is that what are you doing that for the inside or the outside? Just cleaning up this edge, getting it ready for it. Awesome. So, yeah, let's get to it. Now that Benson got done cleaning um, this exhaust, you can literally feel every single surface. It won't cut you, nothing whatsoever. You can tell he did a really, really thorough job cleaning it, and he's ready to weld. Probably me touching it right now actually means he's going to make me clean it. Um, let's hope not. Maybe I'll have to. So the next thing he's going to do now is we're going to weld the V-band on there, and hopefully... Turn the air compressor back on. I got it. So we were just discussing right now between three eighths or half inch rod what we should use. But I think that what we're gonna do is here. Um, we're gonna do two of two big chunks of that. It'll be like a triangle basically to the tube chassis with steel rod on it. So that way it'll be mounted to the turbo. But we'll do that here shortly after and show you guys. So um, yeah, let's get to it. Let's have Benton weld the V-band on there. Try to make a heart. That's definitely not gonna work. No, we're not gonna. We're not gonna like stack pipes.
safari. And he's making really good ass money doing it. It's a problem. He's making COVID spirits for uh, COVID 19. Okay, so this. Okay, so this is the elbow that we're using, our 90 degree elbow for the turbo. And you can see that it doesn't have the notches while this has the notch because this was a V-band kit for a 3-inch V-band. So we're gonna have to cut this V-band off and then weld the new V-band on. That way it has a notch and it'll seal better. What's up guys, so we went to the cities to pick up a 2007 Nissan Altima with 110,000 miles on it. It has a VQ motor and apparently it uh, it's blown up, but it has a six-speed manual and it's a nice flip car. I got it really, really cheap. Um, Currently we're stuck in traffic and uh I can get stuck in traffic. The dude uh she's uh, smoking. So hopefully we get um safe and we can figure out what's going on. Maybe some O rings and the fuel injectors, we'll see. But uh yeah. So finally after being in traffic for like an hour finally get to see why it is that we uh, seem to be stuck in traffic. I don't think it is a crash. I think it's a job it's, site. No, it's a crash. He oh, there's a sure a crash. Oh, shit. So two and a half hours later, we finally made it back. As you guys can see, it has some front body damage. That's where he hit the raccoon. And what happened was he drove it and hit a raccoon, drove it home, turned it off. And now it'll crank, but it won't turn on. Six speed manual, G35, 3.5 SE motor. Has a full exhaust on it, which is kind of cool. It actually looks pretty clean. But yeah, you guys can Got any ideas? Let me know. Now she's not smoking. I don't know what's going on with the diesel, but we got to figure out what's going on. But yeah. So now that we got a part, honestly, this thing caught me off guard. Because I was expecting it to be like kind of just a little lame maximal, but cloth seats, which is okay because it's black and they're actually decent. But like, check this out. It's got a six speed manual transmission in it. Six speed, 35, 3.5. The G35s have a five speed even. Look up. That's sick. Look at that. It's kind of like a perfect sedan. I hate sedans, but honestly, this thing kind of looks sick. I love the Nissan like speedometer gauges. Goes to 160. And the front's not actually that bad. I mean, if I put a new bumper on there, 
I'm not gonna try to make it look like a G35 or a GTR or anything. But a nice little Maxima, why not? Six speed manual. So unfortunately, I did not get to finish welding that V-band for the turbo. So you guys will have to wait till the next video to see the turbo on the car. But I promise you, next video we will do that. This truck right here is my work truck. I've been putting a couple, a good amount of money into it. And unfortunately, it threw third gear last night. So we have first, second. I found a new transmission with a torque converter and transfer case all together. So I figured snow is melting. Why not have a little bit of fun? before we change the transmission and the torque converter. I mean, I'm already mad at the fact that it just threw third gear like, like that right after changing the transmission filter and transmission oil and the torque converter and all that. So, uh, yeah, let's have some fun, why not? What do you think, Cody? Send it. Yeah, I do. I was thinking, why don't we put a strap to one and let's see if we can do an all wheel drive or four wheel drive burnout or whatever the hell. Good day.
Well, I smell fucking not no brand new more tires anymore. Yeah, no <laughs> He's all sprayed from holding the camera. Thank you, Cody. Cody, send us away. It's Chasing Speed, and we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>